Ace and TJ Prime and Prime Plus members are winning prizes. Join Prime and enjoy doing nothing other than waiting to hear your name to win cash, prizes, experiences, and more with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Join Prime today through the Ace and TJ Family app, available in the Apple Store or through Google Play. If you want to lose weight the safe, effective way, then you need Calitrin. Calitrin is not a drug, but it's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it today at TopLoss.com. TopLoss.com. It's Calitrin. Hey, it's TJ, and there is a great place that you need to check out. Well, if you love delicious food with a great, comfortable atmosphere, then you need to check it out. It is called Blackfin Ameripub. It's in the Ballantyne area of Charlotte, and it is absolutely wonderful. Everything you want, including entertainment. That's right. They bring the entertainment as well as the delicious food and great atmosphere. You're going to love this place just as much as we do. Go to acetj.com slash blackfin to find out all the information. acetj.com slash blackfin. What, what? Hey, very exciting news. We have a sponsor of TJ's Fanatico podcast. The sponsor is Distill Union, which, uh, ladies, if you are looking for the perfect gift for the man in your life, this is where you would get it. Um, very handsome items, like, um, like I have this little... Um, phone wallet thing it's called the uh, the wally jr and it's a magnet that goes on uh, the back of my phone you just put your your um essential cards and stuff in it so you don't have to worry about the big fat wallet and it's leather and handsome and just so great uh perfect for a gift for the man who needs to get his life together <laughs> and start looking like like a man who has his life together. I'm just going to say. So you can save 20% when you go to acetj.com uh, slash gift. Go to acetj.com slash gift. Save 20% uh, and use the promo code acetj. acetj. Promo code at acetj.com slash gift. You're going to love this. He's going to love it. Absolutely. Love it, love it, love it. High quality stuff. Top quality. Now, um, we continue today the 15 um, most annoying people, and um, we are going to be up to number seven today, 15 types of annoying people. Are you enjoying this, Riggins, yeah. so far? You don't have to say so. I mean, if, it's, if this is a boring, what do you call it, series of things, <laughs> it's fine. But today's is going to be passionate i believe mm. it will be passionate passion passion they are passionate so 15 types of annoying people so far we've had people who think farts are funny uh, people who break in line unaware of their surroundings people pushy people people who say i'm having a day and then uh, saying that that you know pretty much excuses them from being rude loud people people who smack when they're eating name droppers and uh today's is uh one that everybody um that is associated with the ace and tj show has experienced multiple multiple times and it is also going to come with a a debate as to uh let me give it a, a scenario riggins of something annoying and we'll have to determine which person in the scenario of the two is the is the more annoying okay Okay, so all kinds of fun lined up uh, for you today on TJ's Fanatico's podcast. That's all coming up next. The AC TJ podcast and radio show is new every weekday starting at 7 a.m. Eastern and airs 24 hours a day on the AC TJ family stream on the AC TJ family app. Get the show plus exclusive daily Ace and TJ family shorts like 60 Second Stories, The Good News, The Music Update, and more. Download the new Ace and TJ family app and listen to the show plus the new Ace and TJ family shorts anytime, every day. Hey, we're here with Richard Takato, our friend from the Richard Takato Companies, and this is great. It is great. The interest rates are coming down and probably time for you to refinance. 
Oh, it's absolutely the time to refinance. <laughs> Do it now. Call 704-800-4719. Save hundreds of dollars a month. Yeah, if you've just bought a house in the past couple of years, you've got a chance to save hundreds of dollars right now. Hundreds of dollars a month, I mean. Yeah, absolutely. It's hard to believe. 704 704- 800 4719. One free five minute phone call does it, or just check out homewithrichard.com. Richard Cottle Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Hey. There are a lot of breweries in the Charlotte area, but Lost Worlds Brewing is one with a commitment to the community you won't find anywhere else. A proud partner of Peyton's Promise is Lost Worlds Brewing, Cornelius and Metrolina in Charlotte. Lost Worlds Brewing, online at lostworldsbeer.com. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Uh, here we go. Top 15 types of annoying people. We are at number seven today. You ready, Riggins? Ready. Today's number seven, 15 types of annoying people. The I'm just being honest people. I'm just being honest people. Those are the people who uh say things that uh might hurt your feelings or upset you or make you mad and then they say well i'm just being honest like there's like there's no way that you can think that they're wrong in the scenario if they're saying i'm just being honest that covers everything um now there is a little more of a, of a, um, an acceptance, I think, whenever the person is asked a question, but not a lot. Yeah. So, like, if I said, Riggins, what do you think of my hat? And you said, I think that hat makes you look like a clown. It's the ugliest hat I've ever seen in my life. And then I was, I would say, well, that was rude. That was mean. You go, well, I'm just being honest. That's a little bit different than if you just came up and said, hey, that hat is ridiculous looking yeah. and, and you're a tub of sh- goo yeah. wearing it. Unsolicited. Yeah. But even if you've been asked the question, yeah. you don't want to make the other person feel badly. So you come up with some other way to say, oh, yeah, well, it's not my favorite. Yeah. Uh, that hat that you have or whatever. But, I mean, I am, there's nothing wrong with it. You could do it that way. They'd still get the message. Well, they don't like the hat that much, but okay. But when you just come out and see, I'm not a fan of someone who's brutally honest. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, well, at least you know where you stand. Well, I mean, I would know where I stood without you being a jerk. Mm-hmm. I don't need that in my life. I got enough. Yeah. <laughs> I can figure out my own problem. <laughs> you don't need some like half friend. Mm-hmm. Bringing you down a peg every day. Yeah, because they say brutally honest, like that's like that's a um, a positive description. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like you you never really say anything is that's good that you describe as brutal, right? Do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless you something brutal has happened to an enemy or somebody in a movie that's the villain or whatever, you'd say, "Oh man, that was brutal." Yeah. Oh, good. I hate that person. I chalk it up to some of these people are just stupid. Like they wouldn't be able to function. They probably don't have a lot of friends because they've done this their whole mm-hmm. life. And, you know, they might just be stupid, but it just uh, like if, socially, yeah, you know, socially, um, yeah. Even if your honesty is the best policy, okay, you want to be honest. But there's also having manners and being honest. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have to say like, oh yeah, you look like a total clown. Right. You can just say, I don't think it's your best best hat. You've mm-hmm. got the collection. I like this one more. You know thousand things you could do than being a jerk and being honest yeah my wife's really good at that she'll say um i don't love that (laughs) with that face i don't just love that no i don't love that i don't love it (laughs) or hmm i think you've got better things to wear (laughs) you know it happened to me the other day riggins and i wanted to throw it out at you um on the annoying conversations and this is not on the list but i was uh in the grocery store and the um the woman working at the grocery store was uh ringing up my items which is an old term i guess ringing up isn't it so, i would i still say it yeah so be- she's ringing up my items the store is not busy and while she's in the middle and or actually getting toward the end of my 
order <laughs> my, my items. Um, a young guy walks up and he's got his phone in his hand and he walks up behind me, addresses the cashier and says, uh, hey, can you tell me if y'all carry this? And he showed something on his phone. Well, she stops, starts looking at his phone and says, well, I don't know. I think maybe that was, I don't know. And then goes to address somebody else in the store. And I just, I mean, I just turned and looked at him like, Hello. Are you, you know, seriously? And he goes, oh, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Finish, finish with him. So she stopped in the, you know, doing my stuff to basically, I would count that as a line breaker, a line jumper. Sure. to address his issue and then get sidetracked on it so which one is more annoying the person who interrupted and jumped and said do y'all have this or the employee for leaving me standing there waiting to finish my order and dealing with him first they're both wrong mm -hmm. in how they handle that but i would say uh, the more annoying person is the line jumper yeah I mean, the the cashier should know how to acknowledge that customer, uh -huh. give them the direction that, hey, I'll help you in just a second, and mm -hmm. then carry, carry on with you. But they obviously didn't do that. It's not annoying. It's just bad training. So I would say the line jumper more annoying because mm -hmm. who does that? Wait right. your turn. Well, because a lot of people have go by the philosophy of, I'm just asking a question. Yeah. You know, I'm not checking out. I'm not, you know, she's not having to do anything but answer my question. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if stopping to answer your question is going to interrupt the flow of how she's already waiting on me yeah but you know as same same mentality of well let me make sure this one's not on the list coming up or i'll ruin it uh no same uh mentality as parking in front of a store in people's way because you're just going to be a minute yeah. Instead of going and getting in a regular parking spot and walking into the store, at, you know, from there. Entitlement. It's just like you just don't think about anything other than what's right there in front of you. You know, I have this question. I'm just I'm just going to ask a quick question. Okay. The question may be quick. The answer may not. Yeah. It's entitlement. It's self-centered because you think you're mm -hmm. the only person that matters in that scenario. Yeah. Or you don't even acknowledge the person like mm -hmm. it's just crazy and if you went in there with a purpose why didn't you go try to find it yourself in the beginning yeah you know it's not like you know, you're walking into an auto parts store and you don't know anything about mechanicing. exactly yeah mechanicing. <laughs> <laughs> and i don't yeah that's bad yeah. that's really bad speaking of that on your regular types of stores that a person would encounter um not specialty stores or anything like that. Um, that is the type of store that I feel the most lost in. Yeah. In is an auto parts store. Totally. More so than like a home improvement store, stuff like that. But when I walk into an auto parts store, I'm like, I I have got to immediately ask for an employee's assistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's embarrassing. <laughs> you ever tried to go buy windshield wipers in one of those places? Oh, yeah. And then they're like, well, you just look through this book to find out the one that matches. And mm -hmm. it's like this huge phone book and the print is super right. smart. You're like, oh my <laughs> God, I'll just go to Amazon and type in like, what? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's embarrassing if you don't know. Uh -huh. And then I always have to say, and uh, can y'all put them on for me? <laughs> yeah, I do that too, yeah. Service? At least if I'm at uh, Lowe's or somewhere, I can, they're like about half the store I can maneuver and know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But in, in an auto parts store, I have no clue. Okay. So I'll jump the line and because I I'm, I just have a question. Just a quick question. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So today's uh, 15 types of annoying people. Number seven on the list. People who say I'm just being honest when they're uh, when they're being a jerk. I, I'm just hey, I'm just, just being, being honest. Just being honest. I'm brutally honest. OK. But you know where you stand with me. Yeah. Uh, far away from you is where I'm going to stand. Exactly. I know exactly where I'm standing with you. <laughs> All right. So we'll continue tomorrow. We'll hit, uh, hit number six with more annoying people. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Love you. Bye.
Hey, you want to tell Big Red to come on in? We'll see. <laughs> it's getting to be time to play in a golf tournament and help a charity. That charity is Peyton's Promise, and that tournament is at the North Stone Country Club in Huntersville, North Carolina, on Monday, November 11th. Go to acetj.com slash golf for details on how you can play, sponsor, or donate. That's acetj.com slash golf. If you want to lose weight the safe, effective way, then you need Calitrin. Calitrin is not a drug, but it's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it today at toploss.com. Toploss.com. It's Calitrin. The Johnson Group has been providing janitorial services for some of the most prestigious properties in North and South Carolina since 1985. It's a family-owned and operated business, and you're going to love them. So just go to acetj.com slash clean, acetj.com slash clean, and look at the Johnson Group. 